I am uncomfortable with the energy in this room. <laughs> Welcome to the final installment of the Twilight franchise where Elias and I will be reacting to the final movie, both part one and part two. We have been basically going through a Twilight marathon, not by my choice, but Elias just had the great idea of being like, oh my God, let's watch the first Twilight movie on my channel. And then people really liked it and they wanted us to watch the rest. So we did the second movie on my channel, then the third movie on his channel. And now we are watching the fourth movie. They wanted to make more money, so they split it into part one in part two so we're just gonna bang it all out just yeah. plow right through it because that's our style in our relationship mm -hmm. i have never ever watched twilight in my life ever and i never thought i would have to but you know sometimes life is unexpected and sometimes friends force you to do stuff for clout so here we are <laughs> obvious guesses are probably going to be they get married she becomes a vampire i do know that she has a baby called renee i know that baby looks weird as hell i know that jacob imprints on the baby they were like what should we do with him i don't know just give him the baby i guess elias has watched the movies before but that was like 10 years ago you really don't re remember much i don't remember anything before we dive into this long-winded mess i figured i should be compensated for all of this so this video has been sponsored cue the clip from future cindy this video has been sponsored by hello fresh finally after several months of me cooking and even filming my cooking on my channel they have decided to sponsor me they're super delicious and it can help you eat healthier because there are tons of recipes that are low calorie, vegetarian, pescatarian, and carb smart. I hate going to the grocery store and planning out my meal, so that's why I pretty much use HelloFresh just to save time. What's nice is that they give you pre-portioned ingredients so that there's less prep work for you and you don't have to waste as much food. The packaging they use to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable or recycled content. If you compare their meals to store-bought groceries, their carbon footprint is actually 25% less. It's really flexible to fit with your lifestyle too, so I personally change my delivery date all the time and I'll skip a week whenever I know that I'm going to be eating out more frequently. They're also committed to giving back. So last year they donated over 4 million meals to charity. One of my favorite meals is their bacon mac and cheese, which you can see me cooking. You've seen my cooking. You know how incompetent I am and it still turned out good, which is like a miracle in itself. If you're interested, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code with Cindy14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. All right, now that I've collected my coin, let's go ahead and watch the movie. Movie. Oh, hey, Jacob. Oh my God, he's so angry. Oh, don't you love it when every angry man takes off their shirt to run in the rain? Of course. How else do men show their anger than by taking their shirts off? Why would they invite him? What would you do if you got a wedding invite from me? <sighs> show up in a ray of tears and ask you to take me back. Is that what Jacob's gonna do? <gasps> oh my god, what well, is there's wedding drama. I, I wouldn't even stoop that low. I'd have been just like, good riddance. Have a happy life, bitch. Hey, Bella looks good. Okay, Alex definitely looks gay in this one. Oh, he's hot. He got hotter. I didn't even notice him. I just looked at the tree. <laughs> <laughs> this shows our priorities of like what you look at. Oh, I know this is a movie where it goes like, I have died every day waiting for you. Wait, really? Yes! There's a Shih Tzu dog. Why is there a Shih Tzu dog? It reminds her of Jacob. I'm just checking for cold feet. Her feet are gonna be cold forever once she turns into a vampire. You love it when I have cold feet. Ew, I hate that. <laughs> what, no, you're having second thoughts? I've been waiting a century to marry you, Miss Swan. He's been waiting a century to marry her? Figure she, a speech. She wasn't even born then. Figure a speech. I haven't told you everything about myself. What, you're not a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> Us. <laughs> Remember when we had that conversation? All the men I killed. Edward, they were all murderers. Why are you telling me this tonight? Did you really think this was gonna change my mind about you? Not Bella trying to justify murder. Not Bella being pro-murder. Okay, this wedding venue is chef's kiss. Yeah, it's really nice. This is an expensive ass wedding. I think Bella's gonna be showing. Jess, she is not pregnant. Okay, who else gets married at 18? <laughs> and Kendrick asking the question we all are. Hmm. <laughs> Stephanie Meyer. That Asian guy on the left was kinda cute. That's Boo Boo Stewart. Wow, he <laughs> grew can... up. The wedding looks beautiful. This is, yeah, I got I give him credit. I want to be here. Wish I was there. Where's Jacob? <laughs> I, I want to see some drama. I'm brooding in the background. Just have to hold. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. I do. I do. Everyone's singing in the back. We can't hear a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> the priest didn't ask who objects. I wanted <laughs> Jacob to stand up, be a drama king. She looks like she's from White Chicks. I can't do this. They invited one. Not her being racist. What this anti-indigenous behavior? They killed Laurent. 
he wanted to be like us. Ooh, to be like us. It's giving me racist. How the fuck are all the humans like, what's with all the eye color? They're just exotic. Is this on? He's cute. No. Bella, I hope you've got enough sleep these last 18 years, because you won't be getting any more for a while. <laughs> Nobody left. <laughs> <laughs> the dad. I'm Charlie right now. Ew, Edward, smile. <laughs> Ew. Another one of your gifts just arrived. He unzips his pants. <laughs> What's a wedding present doing out here? It's Jacob on the floor crying. <laughs> the best man didn't have time to get a tux. <gasps> What did I say? Oh my god. He's so different. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. It's kind of you. Kind is my middle name. Mm, I feel like if you have to say you're nice or kind, you're probably not. I'll let it pass. He's a werewolf. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I was crying in the bathroom for an hour. Everything's perfect now. You dance with me. Ooh, the way he lifts her up. <laughs> <laughs> The way he just dips his chin right at her neck. Why was this more romantic than the entire wedding? Elias, why? Why was this more romantic? <laughs> Literally, why is this more romantic? Tell me why. And she's so like torn up about it. I don't get it. If she's supposed to be with Edward, why did the author and the movie make her so torn up about this other guy? Because she does love him, but she loves Edward more. If I really wanted my main character to be endgame with someone, I wouldn't even make her question her I mean, feelings. It's just literally in every YA novel you have two love interests, you know, that people root for. Same thing. Yeah, situation. but the main character should at least be totally loyal to the end game. No, you can't do this. Oh my god, don't grab her like that. Calm down. Man. Are you out of mind? Huh? You'll kill her! Oh, because it's supposedly dangerous for him to have sex with her while she's human. Because this vampire dick is like so strong. Whatever. I've read Sarah J. Mass books. It's not as strong as fairy dick. Unless he can make a literal earthquake happen, I'm not going to be impressed. <laughs> Enough, Jacob. She'll die. It's not our concern anymore. Look, you made Boo Boo sad. Oh, he's Aww. so cute. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'll miss you. Man, I'm going to be thinking about her last dance with Jacob. Hmm. <sighs> So he really won't tell you where he's taking you? No, it's a surprise. <laughs> That's kind of sketch. That's literally one of the plot of the thriller movie. It's gonna be strange for me too. You know it'll always be your home, right? I love you, Dad. Forever. I feel like this wedding is supposed to be touching, but all these goodbyes and stuff makes me feel kind of sad. Cause she's giving up so much to be with this one guy. Makes me feel kind of sad for her. I don't know if this is supposed to happen. <laughs> because you would never become a vampire yourself. No, I would never give up so much for a guy or anybody. So we're not staying in Rio? No, we're just passing through. Are we close? <laughs> If this were a thriller movie, he would strand her in the middle of the ocean and things would go wrong very quickly. And then she would turn the twist on him because she's more dangerous than mm -hmm. he is. Oh my god, a whole fucking island? Dude, they got money. Maybe she was right in marrying Edward after all, because he got money. You're right, this is like the literal beginning of a thriller movie, stuck on an island, no reception. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Let's see how dangerous this dick really is. Cause I'm hearing all this talk. So now you better follow up. There's gonna be like cracks in the wall. Dude, I would be so tired. They literally just had a wedding. Then they went to Brazil. Yeah, straight up. They're in like the same office and everything. Her first time having sex. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, if I was to find out that if I was to have sex with a man who would literally kill me with his dick, I'd be kind of scared too. <laughs> but my ass would never be the same. <laughs> Fucking wrecked. Shit. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to shit or sit or walk or do anything. How no. long has he been standing in the water for? <laughs> right? Damn, I'd be freezing my nuts off. Well, he's Cindy. Ew. Just say it back to me. All right, I'm gonna say whatever she says. Oh wait, she doesn't say anything. They make She's out. out. All it's right. Not that's... happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> I promise that we try. You promise that we try. <laughs> If this doesn't work, I'm giving clout to another booktuber. <laughs> As if you could replace me. <laughs> All right, let's see the cracks in the walls. <laughs> Ripping it off. Oh my god. <laughs> he fucking broke the bed. <laughs> Whatever. This is nothing compared to Sarah J. Mass. If I had all what? That's that was it? it? <laughs> he hyped up his dick so much. And all he did was just literally break a cheap ass wooden post. Not as exciting as I thought it would be. He was all talk. They are not going to get their deposit back. He's feeling herself right now at this moment. Reminiscing. I feel like movies make sex into such a big deal. Especially your first time. It doesn't have and... to be that big of a deal. And she's like, 
my pussy still strong as ever. If I were Bella, I would be like, um, well, I'm still walking, so clearly <laughs> you didn't do enough as you said you would. <laughs> Look, she's still standing up as she normally is. I'm not that impressed. Okay, so you just fucking bruised her all over the place. Okay, that's a little concerning. Okay, time to turn to a vampire now so you can have more, more sex. I don't even want to know how bruised down there she is. Oh my god, look at the water. If we ever travel, we have to go somewhere like this. Ugh, uh, fine. But only if you agree to reenact this scene with me. Are you, are you gonna give me bruises too? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have to break the wooden post just like that. You're gonna have to buy some really cheap ass wood. Actually, you know what? If we did it and you broke the fucking wooden post, I'd be so pissed because I know I would have to pay for that. <laughs> She's so awkward. His smile is so weird. <laughs> She's so awkward. So I guess they suit each other. <laughs> They're both very awkward. This movie really does remind me I need to get laid though. You and me both, dude. <sighs> it's been so long. Oh, I can't. Oh my god, stop being such a pussy, Edward. Please. Please. And she's like, please, I'm so horny. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's either gonna kill her or change her. And the treaty says. I say, Jacob. Okay, Jacob, you're being a little bitch. It's I fine. know, I would still wanna get laid by him though. Would you just get over it? It's not like you imprinted on her. Yeah, you're gonna imprint on her baby, which is even worse in my opinion. Yeah, some people are just lucky, I guess. Lucky? None of them belong to themselves anymore. And the sickest part is, their genes tell them they're happy about it. Stop being a hypocrite. He's giving me nice guys finish last vibes. I'm not into that. Wait, so he's saying imprinting someone would be like a consolation prize, but then he imprints the baby. He's just all talk right now, I think. He's saying, oh, it won't actually make you happy. The dreams will make you think you're happy, but then he imprints a baby. So isn't that kind of a sad ending for him too? He's being a hypocrite. Bella, these are our housekeepers. Princess. Oh my god, I feel so bad for them. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, what the fuck happened? I feel really bad for them. I hope they get paid a lot. He's doing that pose of the guy where it's like, I had to do it to him. Ooh, I love their kitchen. That's so cute. I would love to cook there. I would love to have someone else cook there as well. Oh, she's pregnant. she's pregnant already? Dude, that was fast. The sperm just shoots right in there. Maybe the conflict in this movie is that it's dangerous for her to give birth to the baby because she's like a human Vampire. and giving birth to a vampire is like different. Like that new book from Sarah J Mass. Damn, that's hella quick. Dude, this would be my nightmare. Alice. Bella, are you alright? I'm not 100% sure. Why? What's wrong? Alice, what did you see? <gasps> oh no. She saw something bad. I think she sees Bella dying. <sighs> Carlisle, I swear something just moved inside me. Oh my god, dude. That's scary. That's like an alien. No. Oh, this legit feels like a horror movie to me. What would you do? Would you keep it? No, hell no. I wouldn't keep any baby. Me when I pack at the last minute, the day my flight is leaving. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't really seen her happy throughout this whole franchise. Not truly happy. I've seen her talk about how happy she is. I don't see her happy though. She was literally crying on her wedding night while dancing with another man that she says she loves while she was saying goodbye to her family for the last time. This does not feel like a romance movie to me. This just makes me feel sad. People of color coming to the rescue, as always. She's like, you're fucked. Mocht. And there you go, and you never see her again for the rest of the movie. If I could have any role in this movie, I would want that to be me. Just me going out to Bella, putting my hand on her stomach and being like, you're gonna die, bitch. And then I leave, <laughs> then I get my paycheck, and I go. I feel like this would be a good horror story if it were purposely showing how a girl can be manipulated by this monster and be trapped into a miserable life where he isolated her from all her friends and family, and then she has to escape from him. But this is supposed to be a romance for some reason, so I'm very confused right now because the mood is so different from what I'm expecting a romance to be so I don't get it. Seems she caught a bug. She's sick. Yeah, she told me not to worry but she sounded, I don't know, off. Oh my god. He's gonna, see, he's gonna see that she's pregnant. Oh no. This is like what he feared. Oh my god, she looks terrible. Oh my god. She looks so she... skinny and malnourished. I'm depressed for her. <gasps> Ew. Two weeks? Dude, this is literally a nightmare. He's Dude, like, she looks like a skeleton. He's like, what the fuck? The fetus isn't good for Bella. Say the word, Alice. Baby. It's just a little baby. Rosalie's like, ah, y'all pro-choicers out there. <laughs> I know this seems like a scary thing. It's not. It's like this miracle or something. Girl, this ain't a miracle. Would you support somebody if they were like this, but then they're like, it's my choice. <sighs> 
I mean, they're the ones who have the baby, so it really is their choice. I can only say what I think is best for them, but I can't convince them otherwise. Literally, like, what good has she gotten from being in a relationship with Edward? Because so far, it's just been misery and suffering. Where has any benefit been? Where has the romance been? I don't really blame Jacob for being angry because imagine you love You're someone. You're watching someone you love, like, just waste away. Yeah, that's so sad. Damn, I just came here to have a good time watching this stupid movie and instead I'm feeling sad at this horrible relationship happening. Ugh. <laughs> Furries, unite! You would belong in this pack really well. Oh my god, this is like a furry convention. They're like, Jake, Jake, arf, 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 Jake, Jake, arf. <laughs> We must destroy it before it's born. You mean kill Bella? Her choice affects us all. Dude, this is how pro-life people view pro-choice people. They think pro-choice people are a bunch of degenerate furries who will try to stop you from having a baby. I will not! in the grandson of- What's happening? <laughs> I will <laughs> not! <laughs> Imagine them filming this before the CGI, wearing like the ball caps and oh everything. He's like, oh, I will not! I will not! I am the grandson of Ephraim <laughs> the Black. Oh, they're gonna buddy and team up. I love the two of them. He's such a cute little sidekick. I've got your back. No, you don't. If Sam comes after Bella, are you really ready to fight your own brothers? Your sister? If it's the right thing to do. Oh, he's, he's so cute. He's such a good kid. Yeah. What a good boy. Yeah, he is a good boy. How cool is this? Two men pack. Two against the world. Get on my nerves, Seth. Oh, why can't we have watched a movie about them instead? That would be <laughs> so cute. I'm not gonna let my little brother get himself killed. Sam doesn't even know I left. Ooh, is she gonna join too? She's really pretty. I wish we saw her in more movies. I like looking at her face. You don't even like me. I don't have to. I just have to follow you. Look, Seth doesn't want you here. And neither do I. Why is he so mean to her? He goes ahead and thirsts for white girls and he's so mean to another indigenous girl. I see how is it she is. Is she indigenous? I think she is. <laughs> Yahoo searches. <laughs> Go to WebMD. Let's see what they have to say. This is a straight up horror movie. This is no longer a romance. Maybe it's always been a horror movie. <laughs> Leia's like, y'all are too racist, don't even come near me. Exactly, she's like, I know those sandwiches are dry as fuck. Your rib is cracked. <gasps> Dude! It's breaking your bones now. It's crushing you from the inside out. Oh my god. How would they even take it out anyway? It's so big, it could literally kill her now. It's probably too late now. I'm sorry, he'll need you. Do you honestly think that I could love it? Or even tolerate it if it killed you? Oh my god, he's saying he's gonna straight up abandon the baby too. Well, if you abandon the baby, the baby's gonna go kill a bunch of people, right? Because it's a newborn. Even if they die, do you think the Theron family will take care of it like Rosalie? Because... Oh, I guess. It's kind of funny watching this when reading the last book of Sarah J Mass with a very similar situation. Oh yeah. In my A Court of Silver Flames video when I was like describing everything happening, like how the baby would like kill her and everything. Resent would die if Feyre dies too because they made that pact. Yeah. People in the comments were saying like, wait, this is just like breaking dawn. And now I'm watching this and I'm like, oh my god, they're right. Stephanie Meyer did it first. <gasps> Dang, girl. Oh my god, dude. This is kind of like triggering, honestly. Triggering for like anorexia. Oh. oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my god. Dude, this is terrible. What the fuck? I thought this was supposed to be a romance. This is so bad. Man, everyone's fucking depressed. Dude, I'm depressed for her. Got it. Yeah, Jacob's got it. 108 degrees! Oh yeah! You'll remember! Yeah! If I could only see the fetus, baby. <laughs> Rosalie? I'm telling you, <laughs> this her, bitch! Her life ass is like, call it the baby. Ew, she's gonna have to drink that? Ew. You it's okay. Drink a whole cup of blood? You can just think it's Kool-Aid. Oh, hell Dude, no. Dude, that would be so thick and pulpy. These bitches will really be drinking blood to feed their freak baby, but they won't take the vaccine. Well, you sound better. Married life treating you okay? No, married life is horrible. This whole relationship is horrible. Okay, Dad, I don't want you to freak out, but I'm going to a medical center in Switzerland. What? No, 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 you're not. You're not going to Switzerland. What? What do you? You said you were better. He really isolated her from her family and friends. Well, he didn't. She did on her own. I know, but still, that's like a pattern of an abusive relationship. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. Can you imagine? You married? I don't think I'll ever get married or even find someone to date. <laughs> I'm dead. 
just say something else. He likes the sound of your voice. You can hear him? Aww. Ew. Fucking freak baby. He likes my voice as well. What do you hear? This is what he hears. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're happy. How could you not be? <laughs> I love you so much. What, what do you hear now? He loves you, Bella. Ew, this fucking gremlin freak. No. I hate it. If I were Bella, I would literally throw myself off 10 flights of stairs. She tried to marry Rich, but at what cost? Tell Sam that when the moment comes, I'll be the one to destroy it. To destroy it? You mean imprint it, you weirdo? Rose is trying to talk Bella out of her baby names. If it's a boy, EJ, Edward Jacob. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Edward Jacob. Oh my god. Thank god the baby turned out to be a girl. <laughs> Why don't you tell him the girl's name? I was playing around with her mom's names. Renee and Esme. And I was thinking, Renesme. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm not even gonna comment on this because this video is gonna be too long. I was thinking of R Renee and Esme and Renesme. Renesme. <laughs> Too fit. That's like if I wanted to name a baby Cindy and Elias, and I was like, Cindelius. <laughs> <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck? <gasps> Did you see her back fucking break? What the fuck is this? Yeah, Carlos said the placenta must have detached. <laughs> yeah. It's coming as fast as he can. We'll but... have to do it. <gasps> Get him out! No! Ah! 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 Rosalito! Now let's get him out of here. Rosalito! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. He, he's fucking biting into her pussy. Ew, what the fuck? It's a nice one. I am horrified. This is the scariest depiction of childbirth I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> she basically looks dead. She died. She died? Bella? <laughs> Bella! <laughs> I just feel so sorry for her. This feels like a tragedy. I won't kill you. That'd be too easy. You deserve to live with this. Exactly, exactly, period. Oh, poor Jacob is so sad. Oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> Imagine being Kristen Stewart and just chilling on the bed the entire time. Oh, he's just biting her everywhere. Let the transformation begin. This looks like one of those science movies that they would make us watch in school. Oh, it's super painful, apparently. Dude, she was in so much fucking pain. She'd be like, stop it. Stop biting me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking hurts. Rosalie giving pro-life people a bad name. She didn't care for about Bella. Then he's like, I'm gonna go fucking kill that bitch. Oh my God, he's gonna imprint on her. We have to see this. Look oh at the God. CGI. The baby's like, <gasps> I'm dead. Jacob Ew. just, Ew. <laughs> Not this montage. She looks like one of those CGI influencers that have a fake Instagram. I am uncomfortable with the energy in this room. <laughs> this is how some influencers use Facetune. Full transformation. This reminds me of Ozzy Jones. Oh my gosh, she got breast implants? No, remember her <laughs> fucking back broke? Oh yeah. She removed the contour. Now she would never have to wear makeup a day in her life because she'll look perfect. Not this filter. Not this fan movie edits. So when you're a vampire, you automatically get lashes? The whole makeover, baby. There you have it. All right, part one is done. What'd you think so far? Um, that was horrifying. Do you feel like each Twilight movie got progressively better? Um, I think there was definitely more to comment on with each Twilight movie. Would you consider this one favorably more than the other ones? I don't even know. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm like in horror. I'm stunned. I'm <laughs> speechless. <laughs>
<laughs> Cindy is traumatized. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> the fuck? Let's take like a 15 minute break. And yeah. Then we'll continue. At first, I thought I was going to do part one and part two in this one video, but I feel like there was just so much happening that I'm going to need to take a break and we're going to do part two on Elias's channel instead. So if you have made it this far, go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to Elias instead. 